Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, I told you I'd update you on the latest in the 3M combat earplug cases, and let me tell you, it got a heck of a lot worse for 3M this past week. I'll tell you more about it in this video. This is a series of videos designed to help you understand personal injury law and navigate a personal injury claim. I do videos about injuries in car crashes, like this one, and I also cover various unsafe products, like this video right here. So, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell to make sure that you get notifications when new videos come out. I've been representing people injured by unsafe products and in car crashes for over 25 years. I've also been helping veterans get their service-connected disability benefits for over 15. So I'm here to help keep you informed and help keep you safe. For those of you that have been watching these videos and following this case with me, or for those of you that are jumping in for the first time, I have been covering all of the bellwether trials in the 3M combat earplug litigation that's been going on in the Northern District of Florida. If you want to learn more, you can check out this playlist, which has all of my videos that cover all the trials to date. The latest trial began in mid-September of 2021, and the jury came back with its verdict on October 1st of 2021. They came back with a verdict of $8.2 million in favor of Brandon Atkins, the veteran and plaintiff in this case, against 3M. This is the highest verdict to date of all the trials. Do you have any questions about the 3M combat earplug litigation? Or do you have questions about personal injury law in general? Just leave them in the comments section below. I check all the time and I'll be happy to answer your question. I started this video off by saying, it gets worse for 3M. Well, it's not just that it was an $8.2 million verdict against them, but the fact is, believe it or not, you might want to be sitting down for this one, they picked the case. The defendants, 3M, picked Mr. Adkins' case as one they wanted to try, and it's led to the highest verdict against them to date. The next trial in this case is set to go off on October 18, 2021. One plaintiff, Michelle Blum, is going to have her case heard. On November 1st of 2021, there are going to be two trials running simultaneously. There will be another trial that starts on November 30th of 2021, and then three more in December of 2021. After that, in February of 2022, three plaintiffs are going to have their cases consolidated into one trial. Most of the questions from viewers involve what is it going to take to get to that settlement point? When is 3M going to settle? When are the plaintiffs going to settle? How much is all this going to be worth? I think you have to watch this Blum trial very closely. I suspect that, assuming that there is another million dollar or more plaintiff's verdict, at that point, 3M is probably going to want to suspend or adjourn the other scheduled trials and start to come to the table. They not only have the pressure of multiple verdicts of over a million dollars and one of eight million dollars, but also they have those 25,000 cases that have been moved from the administrative docket onto the active docket that are filed and they have to start moving on trials for those cases as well or moving them all around the country back to whatever district courts they came from which the judge can do. So the judge, M. Casey Rogers, has been putting a lot of pressure on the defendant in this case to settle. The plaintiffs are very happy with the trial schedule and moving cases to trial and getting them off of the administrative docket. For the reasons that I've outlined here, that they think it's going to benefit them and push 3M into that settlement posture. If you read some articles, they more talk about we look forward to defending our client in court statements from 3M as opposed to we think this verdict was wrong and we're going to appeal. So you're starting to see a little bit of shift in tone, but again, watch that Blum trial very closely because I think at that point, if you see another verdict, 3M is going to have to come to the table. They're going to have to try to do something that's going to save themselves from 200 to 250,000 of these trials all around the country, potentially ending up in massive verdicts against them. If you served in the military between 2003 and 2015, and you used these combat earplugs, and you suffered hearing loss, please feel free to contact me at the email address below, or use my website, www.jeffmarionlaw.com, and I'll sit down with you for free 
and see if you have a claim. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, please click on the like button and share it in your social media circles. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to make sure that you get notifications when new videos come out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you as soon as we have another update on the 3M cases.